Current Limiters with Switching Power Supplies Introduction by Lewis Laughlin. Me! All right, this is going to be an introduction to two following videos that will look at two separate subjects, current limiters and switching power supplies. One video will be switching power supplies. The other is the switching power supplies will be combined with current limiters. I use these type circuits to develop other circuits and that part of it is going to be discussed here. Again, this is a mock-up of an H-bridge circuit that I recently reconfigured. And no, I did not connect 24 volts to it the first time, hoping the motor would turn and watching the parts blow up. There's more to it than this to safely build and troubleshoot many circuits, and you can build these items yourself. For example, when I built that H-bridge circuit that was introduced elsewhere, and yes, I did miswire it. I swapped these two transistors. If I had connected 24 volts directly, I would have damaged several components. Instead, what I did was take the 24 volts, use a switching regulator to step it down to 8 volts, readjusted my constant current source to limit the current to 250 milliamps and even with the circuit miswired it hurt nothing no components were damaged the switching power supply and the, and the current limiter circuit protected each other and they protected the circuit itself here is the schematic of the switching power supply. I will discuss that in detail in its own video. What is the advantage of a switching power supply? Well, if I'm supplying 24 volts and I need 5 volts at a half an amp or 2.5 watt load, uh, I'm burning up 10.5 watts of heat in this little linear regulator. This is insane, and I'll show you how to get around that problem. All right, this is my current limiter circuit. Some of you, I'm sure, have seen this over the years. I'm using an LM317 as a constant current source to regulate the current through the emitter base junction of a large PNP transistor circuit works very well, but what if I needed an output of 2.5 volts or at a half an amp and that's a whole whopping 1.25 watts of power but in the process I would be burning up as heat 10.75 watts not acceptable I will show you how to get by that 